continued wet weather is on the way. We had a nice break from all of this rain over oh maybe the past 24 hours starting Wednesday afternoon into early this morning. We were actually pretty dry and we got some breaks of sunshine. Now that is not the case. New rain has entered the forecast. You can see on Triple Doppler brought to you by Mercedes Benz of Syracuse. Most of us looking at looking at a light spray of showers, but there are some pockets of heavier rain now exiting Cuga County into Atisco Tully, grazing Cortland. A few other pockets now moving up to the north and east eventually will press into the north country. Once it moves in, really doesn't quite let up for the next few days, and we've been watching flooding all around the viewing area very carefully. There are no active flooding alerts right now, but I would not be surprised after this continued rainfall for the next couple of days if some kind of alert doesn't spring up. So if you already have high water levels, if you're up near the lake and you're already experiencing flooding, I would take extra precautions because we have a whole lot more water on the way. Now this system that's going to move in is not only going to keep us soaked, but it's also going to eventually cool us down. It creates kind of a blocking pattern, which means we have very similar weather for quite a few days on end. The only thing that will change is temperature and it'll change by a long shot as we get to the second half of your weekend. Let's time all this moisture out on the future cast. Overnight tonight, we're still in and out of scattered showers. It's not a complete washout. Most of the rain moves up to the north, but as we head into early tomorrow morning, new moisture moves in and it is steady for most of the morning commute, which means windshield wipers, rain gear, umbrella, headlights on the whole nine for tomorrow because it will be a really a soaking wet start to your Friday. Eventually we will get some pockets of heavier rain as we head into the afternoon, but by then things start to taper off. So a few showers may be on the stronger side, but they'll become more sparse and less likely. By we head into the afternoon and evening, it's not 100% dry. We've got a lot of moisture now, so fog, drizzle, stubborn cloud cover, entirely possible, but that steady soaking rain is pretty much to the north by the afternoon. So that's our driest time of the day. And even then, I can't rule out a sprinkle or small shower. As we head into the day on Saturday, Saturday is the warmest day we have in the seven day forecast, and it's just about on par for where we should be for this time of year. We start off on the day with some partial sunshine and some stubborn clouds mixing in. Then new moisture moves in, and that increases the chance for showers as we head into the afternoon. Highs will be reading about in the mid 60s for some, and then we really plunge as we head into Sunday and Monday. Temperatures will not make it out of the 40s and overnight lows are looking to graze the freezing mark. So that is actually out of norm for this time of year. This is our average last frost date around the area. It's the end of April for Syracuse and places closer to the shore. It's not until the middle of May for some of the rest of us and up in the North Country. It's not until the end of May. So to get weather this cold this late in the season is a little bit out of the ordinary, but it's happened before. Check out our latest May snows in the city of Syracuse. Everyone has always said it snowed as late as Mother's Day, right? That was Mother's Day in 1996 when we got two inches at the airport. A little scary. The most we've ever gotten is four inches. I don't see that in the forecast at all. If anything, it's a quick coating on Sunday and into early Monday. The better chance for more snow to stick. It'll be wet and slushy. That's early Monday morning. Until then, it's a washout for Friday, scattered shower Saturday, sharply colder for Sunday, and all the while winds are really going to be strong. So we're going to be talking about wind chills in the 30s for these two days. Do we recover? Well, by Tuesday, we're back into the 50s and it'll be a slow climb, but we dry out and gradually make our way back to highs in the upper 50s by the middle of the week. Michael.